If you watch the Super Bowl on Sunday, you saw ad after ad for a product that most Americans have heard of, but almost nobody knows what it really is. Even many of the people who've bought it often don't really understand it. Big crypto companies are looking to make big profits, are desperate to reach as many Americans as they can. They brought in celebrities and gimmicks to make crypto sound exciting and daring and profitable. But the ads left a few things out. They didn't mention the fraud, the scams, and the outright theft. The ads didn't point out that you can lose big in crypto's huge price swings. They didn't tell you about the high fees pocketed by the crypto companies. They sure didn't explain that crypto markets lack basic investor protections and oversight. Just a few weeks ago, hackers stole $300 million of people's investments from a crypto platform. The fact that these companies felt the need to advertise at all is a bit of a giveaway about one of their major claims. If this were actually meant to be used as a currency, why would you need to buy ads? I don't think I've ever seen in 40 years of Super Bowl watching the Federal Reserve buy a multi-million dollar commercial for US dollars. That's because crypto isn't money, it's designed for speculation. Watching those ads reminded a lot of us of some asset bubbles we've seen before. 2000 Super Bowl featured 21 ads from 14 different dot-com startups. The internet may have been the next frontier, but these companies surely weren't. Many of them were defunct within a year or two. Only four from those 14 are still around.